Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for from now until the 15th of October. Let's see what comes up. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, ooh, there's a spark here. There is definitely a spark. There's a, there's a new flame perhaps. This could even be a new partner, a new sexual partner. Or there's a new spark in your relationship. Whatever it is, there's some sort of flame. All right. Um, and it's exciting. It is. There's an exciting, perhaps even it's just a new exciting opportunity. But whatever it is, there's some sort of whew, passionate new beginning. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I'm not sure it's going to be long term. Okay, just beware. I mean, I'm not sure that it is going to be long term. Okay, it looks like this may not be something that lasts. I'm sorry. I mean, I can't, I'm not going to tell you that it is if it's not. Okay, so beware. It could just be sexual. You could be getting engaged with somebody that is more interested in sex than something solid. So, keep that in mind. I mean, I have to tell you what this is. I do. Um, this could end. It may not be true. It could be false. So just beware. Beware. You, you know, there's a, you know, when you get those, that feeling of, you know, the jitters because this is so good. It, it really could be too, too good to be true. Just, I just have to tell you that because things may be um, you could be dealing with a player. I mean, I have two player cards, and one of them is the Two of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a player who doesn't have anything solid to offer you. So just keep that in mind. I mean, I, it's the truth, okay? So you could be dealing with somebody that is not being real. They're being unreal. This is not grounded. It's not realistic. Again, I mean, we have another Pentacles so that's reversed. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Scorpio. You could be not seeing things clearly. This is a lack of reality here. Not stable, not secure. Yeah, there's a lot of passion. There's a sexual attraction, but as far as it leading to anything solid, it doesn't look good, okay? Uh, it doesn't, okay? It doesn't look good. It feels as though this person may have you all in your emotions. This person may... Um, may have another person okay so keep that in mind um, they're definitely not being honest with you um, and I don't think that you are seeing this situation clearly because of the lust factor you know the attraction factor this is you and this is man, This is a woman, okay? If you are a woman, I'm, I was going to say man or woman, but I, I really feel like this is a woman. I don't want to follow what the other readers do. I want to I want to do with what I hear. I'd be of a woman here that is not mastering her emotions. She doesn't want to see the truth. She doesn't want to accept the truth because, and it could be a man because cancer is, uh, the water signs and the earth signs have more feminine traits and the air and the fire have more masculine whether you're male or female so this this could be the manly energy as well but anyway you really need to take a time out to think about this because it, this is you not seeing things clearly okay you're not seeing things clearly and it's because of the attraction the attraction is overpowering your ability to see that this isn't stable it's not stable it's not secure it's not it's not. It's it's unrealistic, okay? But you are so open-hearted, you know, I think that you are trying to give this situation the benefit of the doubt because of the attraction, but, and I feel like you're trying to put in effort to make something work, but you really need to take a time out and think about this, okay? That's what this is. You need to really restrain yourself as much as you can. Step back and focus. Focus on, is this a stable foundation? Is it? Or is it just lust? Because from what I can see, this is not love. It's not stable. It won't lead to anything secure. And it's lust. It's based on sex. 
I'm sorry, that is not what you want to hear, okay? Um, whew, the overall outcome is, is putting in effort. You need to put in effort to really decipher the truth from the from the uh, from untruth okay you're, you're really gonna have to take a time out that's the truth that is the truth and the truth is is that i think you you want to be loved so badly that you are probably not seeing things clearly i'm sorry to tell you that you want it right now it's like i want love right now and i feel this connection but it's not what you think it is. So just please take a time out to become consciously aware of what this really, really is. Because right now, you're not. Okay, this right here is you, man or woman, I'm going to say it. Not seeing it clearly. Okay, you're not. Your heart is wanting love, and that's all you can think about, but you're going to get hurt more in the long run by not taking a time out and realizing that this is false. It's a false foundation. You can, It's not going to lead to anything stable and concrete. It's going to turn your life upside down. Yes, there's sexual attraction. You have to decipher love from sexual attraction. Let's get some clarifiers here. I want to clarify this. I mean, this Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is an, it's an opportunity that may not be accepted. Somebody, you know... Yeah, it's like, it's unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. You know, somebody is not going to accept this offer, whatever it is. There's no acceptance here. There's no, it's unrealistic. There's no growth. There's, it's a bad decision. I'm sorry. I hate to say that. Is that we have time out? This is time out, and this is time out. You need to let go of the idea. You need to take the time to really think about where you're planting your seeds, or where 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 the future lies. Okay, it's not about. It's not just about right now. Okay, where will this be in four years? You know, where will this be in four months? I feel as though. No matter what you do, no matter what you try to invest, it's not going to work out, whatever this is. You have a new path. You're at a crossroads and you have a new door. You have a new path, a new door to go through. But I think that right now you have to make a decision as to whether to go through that new door, whether to what path you are going to take. One path. One path is not going to fulfill you. It's not. One path is not going to fulfill you. And that's really sad. There, There is, you're dealing with somebody that is manipulative. They are very cunning. This person um, knows exactly how to get what they want. They are, um, I mean, this is a master manipulator. This guy has a lot of life experience and wisdom behind his back. And he is probably luring you into some sort of... I don't even want to say it. A 
illusion. I think it's an illusion. I think that it is. I mean, I really, really do. I think that he's probably saying all the right things, but all the right things are lies. I mean, they are. They're lies. This is lies. There is. I think that you're dealing with somebody who is try is is telling you that they're offering you something but it's not it's it's not going to stick around this person whoever it is is making an offer that is very immature you know it's an immature offer it's not anything that has any long-term potential it's not this person's not going to stick around it's sexual now he's got the wand he's like he's going to tell you that this is this is this is real but it's not real it's not real and this guy is so freaking smart he's trying to get you to follow him down his path he sees your open heart And you want to go. You want to go, right? You're like, I, I do want to go. I do want to go because I want to be loved. But it's going to end with with despair. It is. It is. It's this, this, this whole thing, this is the death of an idea. It's going to end. It's going to end because it's not stable. It's going to turn your life upside down, whoever this person is. It's going to turn your life upside down because they're not going to stick around. They're just, they're thinking about right now and only right now. They're not thinking about the future. They don't even know what they're still, they're too immature for that. It's like, it's like right now I, I want this, there's lust. There really isn't anything stable here. There isn't. There isn't. So, what the hell is this? We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have Aries again. Um, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn quite a bit. I see that there is, hey, there's been some sort of false offer. That's what it looks like to me. There's going to be a false offer that is driven by lust. And you are probably thinking that it's more than just lust when I don't think it is. I feel like, whew, there's an opportunity for love here. There is an opportunity for love, but this is a completion after independence. So that you, this is where you're independent. So if some of you need to, to, to really focus on your independence, you know, enjoy the finer things in life. Enjoy your life as it is. Be sure that you are taking the time to discern new suitors, okay? Make sure that you are choosing wisely, okay? Because you're, I think what's going to happen here is that you have an opportunity. And that's why we have this two of wands. You have two paths. You can choose to be played. Or you can choose to wait patiently. And this is impatient right here, okay? So that's exactly what this is. You can choose to wait patiently for the right one or you can get yourself involved in, an, in a situation based on lust, okay? So you that's why there's two of wands here. You have to make a choice. Do you wait patiently and work on yourself for this, for the real deal, okay? For your... Have you learned your lesson or are you going to be... Because this is very impulsive behavior as well. And this one is as well. <laughs> so you have a choice. Do you act impulsively because you want your heart fulfilled right now by a lusty situation? Or do you wait patiently, continue to work on yourself for the right partnership that you are compatible with? Have you learned your lesson? Because the world card is a lesson. Have you learned your lessons from the past? Or right now, are you so vulnerable? Is your heart so vulnerable that you're going to allow somebody to manipulate you into a sexual contract? Or can you take a time out and, and really discern the situation and wait for what you deserve? Okay, because I think that you, you absolutely have a choice here. You've worked really hard. You've worked really hard on your independence, on your abundance, on your security. And now you have, now it's like you have this manipulator that is testing you. 
because it's a test. It's a test. It's a test of your self-love. It is, because it is. It is. I think you have two opportunities here. I think you have an opportunity for true love in the next two months. But right now you are going to be tested by a sexual encounter that you could get trapped in. And I was going to say trapped earlier. Remember I said I didn't want to say it. The word was trapped. You could get trapped into a situation that hinders you from getting the golden opportunity that you deserve. So... Whew. I believe that you have you're going to have somebody that comes into your life quickly and they're just looking for sex and maybe that's okay with you but I think your heart is going to get broke because this person is a master manipulator master 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 and I think that because you you want love you're you're probably going to be like this is it this is the one this is the one this is the one but that's not the one the next one the next one okay I think that you have to you have to, because we have that Four of Swords and that Hermit card, this is step back. Step back, it is. I think that you need to step back from this initial lusty connection. And I know that a lot of you are going to be like, hell no, I want this now. I can see that. Unable to master your vulnerable. And this person can see your vulnerability. Trust me, they can. They can. So I think that this is a lesson. The World card is always a lesson. It is. A lesson has been learned. And probably you're going to learn it the hard way. Okay? But once... And that's why this needs to happen first. I think that there's going to be a new potential um, partnership that isn't solid that's going to come into your life and you're going to have to step back from it and wait for the right one because you know what you're worth. This is self-respect, self-worth. I know what I'm worth. You know, I've learned my lesson. So I think that you guys are probably going to be tested by a player. And the real deal is around the corner, but this isn't it. I'm, I'm just, I don't think it is. Yeah, I think that you are, you are, you're dealing with a player that isn't going to give you the love that you are expecting. Okay. I think that somebody is probably going to say all the right things in the love department, but they aren't going to stick around. And that's going to be your lesson. Your lesson is to really hold out for the right one. You know, and I know that's hard. It's hard to say. It's hard to hear when you don't want to hold out, when you're feeling insecure, when you're feeling ungrounded, when you're feeling alone. It's hard to hold out. Sorry about that. Let me just shut this right off if I can. Um, I think that for this circumstance that that is being presented to you, you're you're better off on your own. You're better off on your own for with this circumstance because I think it's just sexual. I do, I do, but I do see that there's a new beginning. There's a new beginning when you are able to master your emotions and allow yourself You need to love yourself first. This is lack of self-love in reverse. It is. You have to love yourself before you can come together. This is closed off emotionally. This right here is a major new beginning, but there's a lack of self-love. You aren't going to have this major new beginning until you are happy single. You know, when you're single and you love it. When you have that golden opportunity, when you feel like you are the golden opportunity, instead of feeling lacking, that's when this is going to come. Right now, I feel like your heart isn't ready because you're, you're vulnerable. I see vulnerability here. I do. And somebody else sees the vulnerability too. Yeah, 
you know, somebody does see the vulnerability. I think that you are involving yourself with somebody that is immature and it's only going to hurt you. So at this point, I would say no. My advice is to say no because you have a better opportunity in the coming months. I think that you have somebody that is probably... I don't know, maybe they're married or they have another person or whatever the case is and they're telling you everything that you want to hear but none of it is true. None of it is true. And you're going to have to really say, you know what, I'm worth more than this. I'm worth more than this. And if you can, you can master your emotions and learn that lesson that you, of what you are worth. Then you will find your, your two of cups. But I don't think it's right now. I think right now you've got a new sexual partner on the horizon. That is not going to stick around. Absolutely not. They're not going to follow. They're dishonest. Okay. And I know a lot of you don't want to hear that. It's the truth. They, they, they. I think they probably have another person, maybe a husband or a wife or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or something, and you know they're they're telling you that 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 they're that this is going to lead to something solid, but it's not. It's not. It's not. And you have somebody better suited for you, but as long as you're involved with this sex sexual altercation, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry, Cancer. <laughs> I don't see any love. I don't see any love with this person. I don't. Even though we have this, this is, this is, this is in the future. This is in the future. I think that you have a new opportunity after you take your break. We have the Four of Swords and the Hermit. You need to take a time out from this situation. You take a break. You're dealing with a situation that's going to turn your life upside down it's going to halt your mate this is a bad decision okay it is a bad decision okay in a partnership before you get the right one so yeah you got another bad decision that's coming that that you're i don't know i feel like you guys are involved with something that is not real it's not it's unrealistic it's going to be dissatisfying and it's going to cause you a lot of worry in sleepless nights because you're, it's not what you think it is it's not it's not you have somebody else in the future. This is a sexual situation. Sorry, Cancer. I think you'd be better off on your own. Working on yourself before, you know, giving your heart away to this player. I think you've got a player that's teaching you some sort of lesson. And I think this lesson has to be with... You know, discernment. You know what I mean? Really taking your time with people and loving yourself enough to know that what you're worth. And I think that some of you just don't. Protected by angels. You are cherished by angels. You are blessed. Immense blessings from above are showering over your life. Their angelic realm is only a thought away. Angelic intervention is available to you at all times. Simply be open and you will feel their presence. This is the time to spread your wings and soar. You are so protected and so safe. Sometimes it might seem that you can't see the road ahead, but have faith that by your side are shimmering angels supporting and guiding you in unseen ways. Watch their signs, especially in the form of feathers. There is a sacred plan for your life. Your life is guided. The angelic message is that you are going in the right direction and everything is unfolding exactly as it should be. So this is meant to happen. I know that some of you will try to turn this. You will try to turn this reading and say, no, no, this new sexual partner is going to be, it's going to lead to this, right? That's what you're going to say because that's what you want to hear, right? That's what you want to hear. 
not being realistic, not being grounded, not thinking clearly, not mastering your emotions. This is not solid. It is not stable. It is not secure. This person is not telling you the truth. They're not being honest with you. It's based on lust. And they're not going to stick around. Work on yourself. Work on your self-love. And realize that you have an opportunity that is better suited for you if you can love yourself enough to say, you know what? I am worth more than just sex. Good luck.